Hey everyone, welcome back. So in the last video we got our left hand set up and we did encounter a problem where if we pick up our weapon or our interactable and we try using the trigger animation, so the one that plays when we pull the trigger, we actually have an issue where it plays half the animation. So that's being caused by the grip axis value or the, the left grip value firing at the same time as we set our grip state. So what we can do is we can create a little check from our sequence and we're going to use our grip state used to get that and we're going to say if our grip state is equal enum to our hand open then we're going to set our left grip value to zero so we'll set from the false channel so if we hit compile it should stop there but as soon as we grab something this state changes so it'll go to the false and it'll just set our grip to zero. So now if we press play and we jump in, we should be able to go over to our weapon. Again, pick it up with the left hand control. So our hands are still working exactly how we want them. Pick it up and now we can play our animation. And when we let go, it goes back to working exactly the same way. Excellent. So now what we need to do is we need to repeat this entire process for this blueprint with our right hand. So we hit compile going to open up our right hand animation and I realized after this video that I forgot to change the name of these bools. I had them as right trigger even though we we're in the left controller or it was the left trigger something. So basically just have a look, check the all correct and then we can go to our right hand, right hand animation blueprints and then we can start setting it up in here. So we might as well start off with our event graph. And what we can do is because we've already got our stuff in here, we can actually copy almost all of this. We should be able to anyway. And then just set that back up. So control C and then control V. We get most of it back in here. And our grip state, we've already got that. And there's a case of actually creating our variable. So I'm just gonna right click, create variable and rename this to right. So right grip. And then we're going to do this and sort it out as we go through it. So right click on delta time. And we'll move these up. And I want to make sure these are in the right order as our left. Because there's no point getting confused over this. We're going to keep going through. Left trigger boolean. We're going to create that and then rename it to right. Then we'll right click point blend. Create point blend. And then right click thumb up blend. Left face button touched, create variable. We're gonna call this right face button touched. And now this whole section should actually be set up exactly how we want it. Now what we're gonna do is we've gotta to go to our animation graph. So you can go on the left, animation graph. And we wanna set this up as well. So if we open this, what we can do is we can actually copy the main section here or we should be able to, and then paste this over. Plug that in like so, B to our state machine, hit compile, and now we're just gonna go through and set these up. So thumb, while we're here, we're gonna change this to R, and then the layered blend, blend per bone, we're gonna change that to R, because they're essentially the same hand, they're just different, they're just flipped over. We wanna make sure we've got our thumb up blend and then point blend plugged in. So thumb up blend, and then point blend, make sure the right order. And then we want our thumb down and anim left. So thumb down, don't forget to make this not loop. And then we want point to be on this one on the left. And then we're gonna have a blend node plugged into base pose with our right grip value plugged into the alpha and then we want the anim left open or the we want the right open and then right grab so right open right grab now we should be able to hit compile and save and if we jump in so now we've got our controllers we can point we can touch our thumbs. 
and then we can actually grip. Awesome. So now we can pick up with our right hand, fire our, fire our weapon, we can let go. And then we can do the same thing with our left. And fire both of them. So in a nutshell, that is essentially it. You could end it there and you should actually be able to be good to go for whatever you need to do. But we'll probably keep going and make another couple of videos on how to set up some little things with it. And then just how to add a bit more to the scene or to the like actual animation blueprint. So you can use it in different ways and get a little bit more functionality out of it. Uh, what I really want to do is make a video on how to set up the interactions for the Valve Index, especially per finger. I think that would be really cool to add to this. And then we can go from there. So until next time, stay safe and I'll see you then. Bye.